All right, what's up everybody? Today, 2014 Stafta, we're here at Freud Diablo and they're showing off some of their new carbide tip steel metal cutting reciprocating saw blades. Eric's on the camera, so you probably can't even see me or I'm blurry, but let's go talk to Russell Cole about some cool stuff. Basically, we went all gaga last year over their uh, carbide tipped wood, nail embedded wood cutting blades, but now you got something even new. We do. What do you got? Well, we wanted to go out, next category we wanted to go after was the metal cutting category for reciprocating blades. And we felt like, uh, like the wood cutting category, we could bring real innovation to this, which means, you know, cut faster, last longer. So the first thing we looked at was the bimetal category. We came up with a new design, we call it full contact, and it cuts significantly faster than uh, anybody else in the marketplace. Uh, in standard mild uh, metals uh, application. So uh, what we have here is just a typical one inch schedule 40 type of steel. This is very standard for plumbers to cut. And the thing we ask is just be able to cut three, four cuts versus anybody else. You can feel the, uh, the lack of vibration, feel the speed and the longevity. It's uh, extraordinary. So it'll last five times longer. Wow. Very cool. And I mean, Strong. for an application like that, they would generally use like a bandsaw or something, right? Uh, and, and a reset blade, yeah. they will. On Schedule 40, they will. But they're going through reset blades like man. They're going through a lot yeah. of reset and blades. Plus, like it's slowing them down because that reset blade is not going to cut as much, you know, and uh, the expense, like you said, because these blades are a little more money than your general blade that you can get, right? Well, this actually is, is priced like other bimetal blades, okay. but performance is extraordinary. Okay. But I know what you're talking about. I know okay. where you're getting at. Okay. And okay. we have a solution for that. Okay. So as you mentioned, I think that's a great segue because uh, you look at this category, you burn through blades very, very quickly. So like the wood cutting category, we wanted to bring true innovation, breakthrough innovation to really solve the problems that our users are having. And that's what we're introducing the first on the market, carbide tip metal cutting reciprocating blade. Wow. As you mentioned, Dan, um, there are some real issues with blades burning out fast. So this is radical new technology that is slighted to last 20 times longer than what bimetal products will do. But it's so much more than that. Because yes, it'll cut the, the, the hard to cut steels longer, but it'll cut steels that you're not able to cut with the reciprocating blade uh, today. Now, there are solutions for reset blades for cutting cast iron, but they're just not good. So we're going to ask, have you guys cut just some two inch cast iron piping out there so you can see the difference. Uh, any other blades, there's carbide grid out there, diamond grid out there, they're very expensive. Uh, maybe you can make it th halfway through one, maybe you can make it through one. But it's slow, expensive, not a viable solution for the plumber or the electrician or for anybody cutting this material. Carbide tip goes through it like butter. In addition, we're gonna show a one and three eighths inch stainless steel. And we are not familiar with a reciprocating blade that can actually cut through stainless steel. A very common, as you know, application right. out there. So not only will carbide last longer in standard applications, but it'll expand it into new applications, really making cutting cast iron, uh, which is a very standard uh, application plumbers and electricians will cut, uh, as being the go-to primary tool. Uh, to use and new materials such as stainless steel new to the recip saw uh, and it'll be, uh, allow it to cut for the first time. So we're excited about that. Cool, cool. And then uh, one thing I like is, you know, I mean, a lot of times I'll get a, a blade of just general manufacturer or whatever and, you know, when it's dead on the first cut you make, to me that's a failure, mm. you know? And I mean, I don't care what it costs, it's just, you, we need blades that are going to last probably either the entire job or most of the job, you know, without getting that you, you contractor pack of blades and going through all of them. And that's kind of what I like about this carbide technology. And I think the carbide deals with heat in a better way. Is that why they last longer? Absolutely. Or? You think about bimetal product, it's almost like you're filing the material whereas carbide tip is you're able to sharpen it it cuts the material it's much harder it can withstand as you mentioned heat much longer and you're going to feel more of a cutting uh, application versus filing cool 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 stuff and I mean you guys we're going to show you guys this we're going to get some samples we're going to take it out to contractors and really get their feedback on this and I know like I said from experience uh, the port I don't know if you guys seen our video we hang out at this port but they're always cutting metal shore stations and stuff like that and I gave them some Diablo I mean just off subject I gave them one of your Diablo grinding wheels and they were just amazed I'm like here take this thing it's going to last five times longer and they're like man that's the, like the best blade or best grinding wheel I've ever used you know so you guys are definitely doing some good stuff what else are you going to show us on this well we're, we're going to show you how we are actually expanding this to, into new applications okay and, and, and out there but you know the one thing I want to mention um, if you really want to maximize your reciprocating blade and cutting metal. It's important that you start with a pilot type of cut, four or five seconds with 
what we call feathering a little bit. So the lower the speeds, get a, a, a cut at the beginning, and then you can let it rip. Okay, get a good groove going. Get so a groove going, and then you can full throttle it down. That will maximize your reciprocating blade. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so what we're showing over here, too, is that, as you mentioned, uh, with this new blade is um, <clears throat> we're actually trying to make sure we're keeping up with the trends and what's happening in the, in the industry. So there's really two applications. The same carbide tip metal cutting blade will, will do and will perform. Uh, the key thing is you're, you're car, you know, we're finding is more and more car manufacturers are introducing this advanced steel. And an advanced steel, like a brand name of Boron you might be familiar with, it is a harder, more durable steel that is lighter weight. And they're doing that for both safety as well as energy or fuel efficiency. Right. And this is becoming a real problem for the fire and rescue industry as well as the auto dismantling. And because what you're seeing here in this example, if I scoot to the side, in these posts, <clears throat> this boron or this advanced steel is actually put into it that historically up until five years ago, a bimetal product would be able to cut. But now with these new steels, it's just not an app, a really a viable application. Here, what we're showing is Jaws of Life. You're probably familiar, Dan, with this. It's not a viable option for cutting uh, this uh, you know, advanced steel. And the results are most of them are just too antiquated, too slow, and can't get through the job. And you're looking at uh, systems that can cost $3,000, $4,000. And even the newer ones that might be able to get through it can cost between five dollars and $7,000. So with a simple carbide tip, metal cutting blade for $10 retail, you can zip right through it. Right, and that's amazing. And uh, we saw a video, you guys, of them showing us this tool in action. And I was absolutely amazed that this wouldn't cut through that. You know, and then they got the, the blade and just went right through it and cut through it. So it's definitely some good, amazing technology. And like you said, for junkyard stuff like that, when they're chopping up cars, or even people that go to junkyards to get their own parts, they have to cut it out. You know, all they got to do is invest in one of these blades and they can pretty much have access to any part on the car that they need. And that's right. You know, so. the good news is both fire and rescue and auto dismantling, they have the reciprocating saw. They have it. There's no new purchase here. That just by buying a $10 blade, they're ready to go uh, for it. So not to get too dramatic, but you know, we're excited is we're going to be saving lives. Right. Uh, you can have two and three firemen in a minute of seconds work through it and actually get to somebody that needs to. Uh, or the auto dismantling, instead of taking uh, two, three, four hours to disassemble a, a car, they're now doing it in literally minutes. So the technology is opening up new markets for you guys. Open up new, new yeah. markets. So, so both with the standard metal cutting as well into these new categories. And we're excited about that. Cool. Hey, I'm excited too. I can't wait to see it. I know uh, Eric, you guys, is, he's a firefighter every Halloween. So he's going to take it out and uh, show us they're going to be cutting up a car. So we're going to see it in action and kind of get some real feedback from some real firefighters and stuff. So Hey, what, what's cool. more fun than cutting a car apart? I know, right? Especially when it's Eric's, <laughs> right? <laughs> he doesn't know it yet. But uh, all right, cool. Thanks, Russell. You Appreciate bet, yeah. it. Thank you. All right, you guys, uh, what's your website? Uh, FroyTools.com or DiabloTools.com. All right, cool. And everybody gets free Diablo blades for life. No, I'm just kidding. I'm Dan. I'm <laughs> yeah, Dan. right. All right, Tools to Action, you guys. Check it out. Let us know what you think of Diablo down at the bottom. Uh, we love to hear your comments. All right, you guys, here we go. Another test, Tools in Action. This is the most scientific you're ever going to get. Um, two experts. Going. <laughs> so he's got, what is that, Lennox blade? I don't know what it is. Yeah. Lennox. Okay, Lennox, and we have the new Diablo uh, carbide blade. So we're not going to put any pressure. We are going to just kind of hold it to get them started. Um, and then that's it. So you can go whenever because I'm going to beat you. Big difference. I know, it's a big difference. So that's the cool thing about the Diablos that we like, you guys, especially when you're out on a job site. I mean, think about it. He's gonna be here at least five minutes. Would you say it'd take you five minutes to get through that? As you can see, I was done in second, so I'm gonna be able to make way more cuts throughout the day, and I'm probably gonna be using the same blade. Why, by the end of that cut, you're gonna be getting a different blade. So, worst case, I mean, you I mean, think about it. I mean, that, I how, what a time saver, because let's say you only have three blades, you don't have to and you gotta me. do 10 cuts. Yeah. Well, I'm just telling you, you don't, look, you don't look like you're believed yet. <laughs> I'm believed. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.